Hello, Simon, are you there? Yep. Good, well done. Perfect. Good. That's it. Now on this timer, on the next trip, we're going to start doing for the timer. You can flip flop between flight and elapsed time on that. If you put it on the elapsed timer, ah. when you get overhead, just push that. You've got a stopwatch. Ah. Is that purely just a timer? Yeah. Uh, just a little snippet. If you then push it back onto flight, that tells you when you started the engine. Yeah. a line on your halfway point on a short trip yep. so you can check your timing so if you know the flight's going to take you 20 minutes yep. after 10 minutes you should be halfway if it's taking you 11 it means you're a minute late at halfway which means you'll be two minutes late at destination yep. just in case they ask you for your ETA right uh, okay okay uh, so local that is the nav uh, navigation exercise to on board so basically it means you're going to go on a little cross country but you're not going to land Right, so just taxi for navigation. That's exercise, it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Radio, Golf, Robert, Oscar, Romeo, Kilo, uh, radio check, uh, request taxi for navigation exercise, two on board. Okay, I think he's putting aeroplanes away, so we normally say taxi for Bravo, runway 09, left-hand pattern, and the QFE is uh, 1014, the QNH 1028. So you just repeat back, 09, yeah. left-hand 1028, and set your QNH. Yeah. And it should okay. be about 400 feet, which is probably what it does, that's good. Yeah. Go for a taxi then? Absolutely. Fair line. We just go left and round? Yep, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Good. Go here. Yeah, there's one or the one after, whichever you wish. I think it's benefit, beneficial to come today, uh, Simon, in the fact that at least it's nice and bright. Yep. Yeah, that's just what I thought. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, on time, yes, the, the wind is going to be less, but it's going to be cloudy, so I don't know whether it will be any good. Hopefully it will be, but... Yeah, it looked a little bit cloudy on. Yeah, but I mean, well, the, the others have all flown. John and, uh, and Cliff have been flying. They said it's perfectly OK. At least the wind's down the slot. It's yep. a bit bumpy near the ground, but other than that, apparently when you get in the air, it's quite good. We're going to go into wind. Absolutely, because it's a bit breezy today, so swing into wind. Good. What's the... Um, uh, Chris has been mentioning a, a new runway or something that's been laying seed down for. Uh, oh, this one across here. Oh, is that, th is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, it's been regraded, it's been levelled, yeah. reseeded, so we'll better use it soon. Oh, right. is that how, yeah. how, it's not very long, is it? No, it's about 550 metres. Okay. It's so not long enough to do circuits, such and goes, but it's long enough to land on it, so we will do it. All right, okay. Because if the wind is strong southerly or strong northerly, then you can land on it. Yeah. But it was so bumpy. We didn't do it because it knocked six bells out of the undercarriage. Right, so it's just been... It's been completely all, all skimmed off the top level. Yeah. It's all been graded and levelled and, oh, and, and rolled, so hopefully it'll be good. Uh, right, power tanks. Rolled. Contra. Change the tank. Left. Yep. That's fine. Good. Temperature's all in the green. That's quite low, but that's normal. That's OK, yeah. Yep. As long as it's not the other end. Up here, up right. Hang on. How's it? Is that 2000 first? There you go. <laughs> Good lookout. Yep. Yeah. And brakes holding. Yep. So, okay. Yep. 
say anything about leaving to the... Uh, you will do, in a moment, yeah. We're just going to just level off at 2,000 feet. Uh, to west of North Romeo Tango, India November, three to the north of Silverstone, inbound the field. Uh, aiming to join downwind, zero nine. India November, roger. It's uh, still zero nine left hand fell and the QV one zero one four. Thanks Ian, one zero one four and I'll call uh, downwind, India November. Okay, you can now announce that you're setting course to the east. Call on rejoin. Uh, setting course or leaving today? Yeah, leaving today. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Got from me, Kilo, leaving to the east. We'll call on rejoin. Good. And then straight onto your map. What? And the first thing, well, Not you're, properly. you're overhead. A racing circuit. Yep. Is that where you want to be? Do you want to be to the left of it, right of it, or over the top of it? On here. It should be there, near, near, near Sir Western. Climbing for a minute. <laughs> I think Silverson's on there, isn't it? Just after Turn Western, there it is. Yep. Got, got the H. So looking at that, you want to be just to the left hand side of it. Yeah. So if you're just to the right hand side of it, well, Already, uh, then you've got to make a small heading change. That's what I'm saying. If the wind has changed, yep. over here you've got the big, uh, big city of uh, Milton Keynes. And there's a big town over there at Northampton. Yeah. Now you can see, you want to be midway between the two. Yeah. Are we closer to Milton Keynes? Yes, uh, we are. Yes. So alter your heading by 10 or 15 degrees or whatever. Until you get your back self back onto the track that you want to be on. So, we thought, zero, what do you think, zero seven zero? Zero seven zero, yeah. Okay, well that's perhaps a bit too much, so try zero five zero then, because maybe the wind has changed a bit. Yeah. We want to be, so there's that wind farm, and we want to be just to the right of it, so Fantastic. that gives you something to have for, I guess. And there's also a wooded area coming up there, can you see it? Celsius Forest. Right, in Celsius Forest. I'm going to go bang through the middle of that. There we are then, so looking at that, zero yep. 050 zero is probably a better heading. Yep. This is because it's guesswork. Got the little town at the left there, which of course you know is being poster. Poster, yeah. With the race course. Yeah. This is looking good because there's Northampton, there's Milton Keynes, and you're halfway yeah. through. You already identified the wind farm. You've yeah. got a motorway coming up your head, I can see, just before the Celsius Forest. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be the M1. Fantastic. Any checks that you should be, is, is it free, yeah, free, it's free, free, free to every half an hour or 20 minutes, whatever half you want to do. Half an hour, really? Whatever you want to do. Some people want to do it after 15 minutes, you do it as many times as you want. But at least once every half an hour, that way you make sure that the fuel is balanced. Yeah. Because F is fuel, yeah. R is the radio, on the frequency that you want to listen to. Yeah. At the moment we're happy with 122.175, but on the next leg we'll be going near Sywell. Yeah. So I'm now going to put the Sywell frequency on, which is 122.7. You put that on the next one ready, so then you can just so switch what over. What you do is just flip flop it. Okay. And we might as well listen out to Sidewell because it's Sidewell's just up there. On the next leg, we'll be getting close. Now here's a good landmark. It's called the A5. Hey, yeah, yeah, nice straight road. Nice straight road that the Romans built 3,000 years ago in a straight yeah. line, and it went straight up yeah. there as well. There on just crossing this red, of course. Right here, at the moment. right. That's it. Now the black line coming up in a minute is a railway line. Which of course is the main Northampton through Milton Keynes to Houston. West Coast Main Line. There it is. Uh, down here you've also got the canal. Yeah. Uh, Grand Union? Uh, Grand Union? I think it is Grand Union, yeah. It's one that goes, goes, it goes through uh, Milton Keynes and Stoke Bruin, yeah. Yeah. Stoke Bruin, Stoke Bruin's over down here on the left hand side somewhere on the canal, it's got to be this little, little village down here yeah. where the canal museum is, if you haven't taken your missus there you want to do that because it's good. Nice pub there as well called the Navigation. Ah 
yeah, that's the one. Is that the one went to? Oh no, there's a white something. Um, there's two there. There's one called the ship or the boat, and that one called the joining down navigation. What's this road? That's the A508. It's got to be. Yep. Is this the A508? Um, We're just going over now? Yeah, I think so, yeah. My daily commute. That should, yeah, that's the one that goes that must that be the road. That's the road then, yeah. yeah. And then that's Grange Park. That's it. Yeah. They're doing a lot of building work, it's a uh, road, aren't they? Yes, they are, yeah. Well, they do a lot of building everywhere, I think, these days, yeah. Here's the main line, uh, railway line, uh, Simon. Yep. Uh, a dotted line represents a disused railway line, and a, a, a thick uh, or continuous black line is, is the used. Um, right. Still in use, main line. Yep. Milton Keynes, there's another big town you can see in the distance over there behind the uh, wind farm. Bedford? It is. Yeah. Quite a few little wind farms. Oh, yeah, they're about to land all over the place. Yeah. Useful for uh, navigation, eh? Yeah, they are, provided the map's up to date, but of course what, what most people do is they use Sky Demon, which of course yeah. is updated every, well, very, very quickly, yeah, yeah, so it's very accurate. Just a matter of interest. Right. You computed your ground speed as being 70 knots. Yep. 73, 74. Yeah. So just by guesswork. I didn't realise you got no, ground no, speed. No, I was no, going to no. ask what ground speed no, is. No, but that's it. So we're at 90, 75. It's pretty much 20 knots of wind. Sort on. Yep. I'm just looking at that uh, wind farm over there. Yeah. Uh, I think that will be. Ah, uh, now yeah, It is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two. There's that there. one. Oh, there's that one. That's it. I would guess it was that one. It could well be, yeah. It's Chill West. Too yeah. far away. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be seeing more. I need to be almost aiming for that. You'll be seeing more of that when you go to Cambridge. Yeah. If I, looking at that line, extended that line, if I aim for that, I can't go far wrong. Correct. You're so far ahead of the game, it's unbelievable. Very good. Then. Yeah, that's your M1. Oh, yeah. It's unusual for the M1, but it's actually fluid. So you, so you still stay. If you go a bit yeah. further up there, oh, it'll, be, it'll be stuck. Yeah, it you'll see on the way back. Oh, when, you get, rock, oh, oh, <laughs> when you get to north of 16, it will that will be stopped. Yeah. There's an there. airfoot up there, just to the side of Northampton. I will. It is. Yeah, which of course is there. So I'll actually see it there. That big green area. Just see the other oh, side right, yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. Got a couple of hangers on it. We've just come out one there. Right, so the ground speed is going to be low this way. When we go the other way, of course, it will be faster. Especially on the way back, you'll be coming back like a dose of salt. But this is perfect for this because the weather's good. Yep. And it's nowhere near as bumpy as you'd think it might be. Uh, well, not up here, it's fine. It's actually quite pleasant, isn't it, here? Yeah. It might be a little bit lively going into land, but uh, well, that's all good fun for you. <laughs> I say to you though, Simon, if you can do it in the rough weather, you can definitely do it in the smooth. If you're a high weather flyer and you yeah. get caught out, then so it is. It's, a, it's good to experience, as long as it's safe. That's the main thing. So, quick look at your temperatures and pressures, yeah. ammeter, suction, and periodically check your carburetor heat. Yeah. We'll just do a quick blast. Yeah, just give it a bit warm air. No rough running. Yeah. Good, and then back up again. Yeah, especially do that. Especially do it if there's a lot of cloud about or water vapor. Yeah. Yeah, we've just right. It can't be that far away. We must be able to see it. From yeah, there. not too far away. We're going to on the next one. We'll do the timing bit. But over here, we've got that little uh, town with uh, Emberton Park just the other side of it. I'm sure you know where it is. Only it is only. Yeah. yeah. There's a nice pub there you want to take your missus to as well. It's called the Swan. As you go through the main well, street in Oni, yeah. It's a, it's a Swan Bistro, very nice.
be then the nose constantly wanting to point into wind. You can okay, well, feel it. Yeah, it will, it, will, it will wobble about a little bit. Good. Right, now down here you've got a disused railway line. See so it sweeping around. Oh yeah, see so it's sweeping around. It's around around it might still be on the map. It's a uh, line. I can't see it. It would be a dotted line, wouldn't yeah. it? I can't see anything on no, that. No, okay. It's, it's probably, uh, it's because it's probably gone so far away, or so long ago, that they've decided to remove it from the map. Uh, so you've got a good landmark there, and that's all the water work. That's the River Neen, which of course is all this water. Yeah. So you know that's Northampton, so that town up there has got to be... Brunningbrook. It is, that's the big one, yeah. And of course you've got more towns behind it, which you know of course is Royston and High and Ferrers. So this heading, 050, was not a bad stab. Okay. Uh, I'm climbing a bit. Okay. It's still only. Yeah, that's only, yeah. Oh, okay. A lovely old house down there if you want to take Sarah somewhere, that's Castle Ashby. Alright. Yeah. And then just what down, an entrance. Oh yeah, lovely, yeah. And then just down one of these little villages just down here is called Castle Ashby. It's got a nice pub there called the Falcon. And it goes back to 17th century or 18th century. Um, once again, somewhere nice to go for a, for, for a nice meal different. If you go on the A428 going towards Bedford, there's a couple of good pubs at uh, Brayfield. Yeah. And a beautiful one, a really, really nice one, and that's in um, Yardley Hastings, called the Rose and Crown. So, if that's well in Borough, the town behind, of course, is Royston and High and Ferrers. The small one in front here is called Wollaston, that's where Scott Marder is, for the uh, deal in the... Uh, yeah, hey, uh, Wollaston, that's yeah. it. So this one down here has got to be Beaujard, Bozy, Beaujard. Yep. And just behind Bozier, you should see what you think is an old airfield. It's got a wind farm on it, and it's got a solar farm on it. And it's also got the drag strip. Oh, yes. Oh, it's got the drag strip. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I can't Anything? see the drag strip. Is it going like that? It is. Ah, that's it. So it's a little bit off. Okay. Ah. That's why. Okay, so I got confused then. So uh, that one there, uh, I thought, was... No, uh, it's not. There's another one even further away. Which right. is <laughs> yeah, could be. That's what the thing. When you do doing wind farms, always make sure that you can't look at the right one. Absolutely right. And then what, where most people go wrong with their navigation time is, of course, they make towns fit what they want it to be. You mustn't do that. You've got to identify it. And the way to do that is with landmarks, with roads, rivers, railways. I mean, yeah. on the next leg, you'll see pits of reservoir out there at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Which, of course, yeah. is a big landmark. Yeah. Uh, normally, when we come out here, you can see another big landmark over there, and that's called Clapham Water. Yeah. Uh, it's not showing up very well today. It all depends on the conditions. Yeah. But you can see another airfield behind it, where all the, all the glint is with the cars. We've got some hangers and bits and pieces on it. Can you see in our one o'clock position? Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's Bedford. That's what looks tiny from here. That's a half mile strip, I believe. Yeah. Like when I was a little lad, when I was about five, my dad used to glide from there and I used to go up there with him. A lot of, lot of happy memories of Boddington. During the war, it was the bloody hundredth was there, and uh, flying fortresses. As was Thurlai, as was Chelvest, and no wonder they all kept running into each other. <laughs> didn't have any radar. Uh, just done, well, you know, we'd take off on a heading and a time, and um, in, in bad weather and things, you know, while they were forming up. And they lost more to collisions and, and training accidents than they ever did to enemy action. Uh, yeah. Ah, so it's running, the actual strip runs left to right. It does. Yeah. That's it, it's in that direction, yeah, you can see where the old runway used to be. 
then there was another one in that direction. There was another one used to run across. Yeah. I can see the track run, yeah. yeah. But you can now see Bedford all glistening with the cars all parked on it. Yeah. Okay, so how many miles did we think Harrington was going to be? Just ballpark thing of yourself. Uh, about 15, I think. Okay, so 15 at one and a half. The wind's going to be behind us, so you're going to be going about two miles a minute. Okay. So 15, about seven or eight minutes. Yeah. Okay, so when we get over there to here, we'll flip flop that. So put that flight to elapsed timer. That's good. Wait until you get overhead the field. Push that, and let's see if the eight minutes works. Right. Okay. I think we came for the, I think it was the Monster Truck Nationals, I think we're being yeah. done there, but then we ended up going on the drag strip, <laughs> just for a bit of fun. Fantastic. Okay, so we head the middle of the fields. Yep. Now turn on to your next track. Is it set up first, or yeah. just whichever, whichever you want to do? Got to do both, so whichever you want to do first. If you're interested, that's Unilever down there, Colworth House. Your rough track or your rough heading? 315? Uh, 330. Three, okay. Good. So, 330, you're setting course. Right now, I've got a town on the right hand side and an even bigger town on the left side. And another one behind it. Wellingborough, Northampton. It is. What is that one? Yeah. Wellingborough. Is that Wellingborough? Rushton. Absolutely right. So this one's Wellingborough. This is Rushton. So where do we want to be in relation to Wellingborough? Just, just going to the left, left hand side. Okay. So 330 is maybe not quite sufficient. Well, okay. So it was 315, but we accounted for the wind. So we did. The wind should be okay. trackers along there, but let's see what happens then. You've got, you've, got all the, you've got the River Nee Valley, you've got a big wind farm over there on the right hand side, yeah. and you've got an airfield up there. You see the airfield in our two, uh, 10 o'clock position? 1029 and uh, copy that call for golf, thanks. See the big green field? Yeah. That's it, that's oh, right, okay. yeah. I'll just give him a quick call. So we'll good afternoon, got Bravo Oscar Romeo Kilo, requesting basic service. Bravo Oscar Romeo Kilo, so information. Hello Ed, uh, PA28 from Tail West in navigation exercise. We're currently at uh, just south of Wallingborough, routing up to Harrington, 2,000 feet. Go for Romeo Kilo, afternoon, the QNH1029, just one reported heading from the east into solid overhead at 3,000 feet. OK, 1029, and we'll call leaving the frequency. Thanks a lot. Okay. Will you have any changes? Yep, 1029. Yep. Good. So, here we are. Wallingborough. Wind farm. Big town over there behind it. Yep. Which is why you want to always open the map out so you can get past it, you see what I mean? Yeah. OK, so you've got Wallingborough, that's got to be Rush, that's got to be Kettering. Yep. And there's an even bigger one behind it, and of course that's Corby. Corby. Now, on the left hand side you've got the airfield, and behind yeah. it you've got a big lake. Yeah. Which of course yeah. is Pittsford. Oh, Pittsford, right. I just saw Pittsford, yeah. Good. So we want to be, obviously keep the right of that. Yeah. Here's your ground speed, 113. So you've got a tailwind. Yeah. So just by your guesswork, and looking at that, you can see it's working out. Yeah. Just by the lines on the chart. Two minutes missing. Absolutely. So we reckon about seven or eight minutes. Let's see how accurate you are. Now, the circle at Sywell, the circle is a two mile radius. Yep. So, are we about two miles from the airfield? Yes, we are. Yep. Not far off. Okay, three to checks. So, no. F, fuel, is still sufficient. Still fine. 
behind me. Is it balanced? If there's more yep. in the right, swap it over. Short bumper in, you're in. If not, yourself, leave it a bit longer. Short bumper in, you're in. Yeah, I think it's fine for now. Okay, this way, yeah, it's fine. Uh, one radio. Yeah, where we sign off. E, engine. Zero five, right hand circle. Decent piece. Yep, all okay. Good. Coming to touch. Notice you've got a circle here. That's yeah. representing two miles. Uh, uh, possibly a bit too far to the left. Okay then, so what are you going to do? Hold your heading a little bit to the right. Golf in the golf flying over. Well, can you see how it's, it's all jiggly yeah. pokery? Yeah, you screw, not so much track crawling, but golf screwing it along, yeah. altering your heading according to the conditions so that you actually do the map reading. Nice big wind farm on the right there. Absolutely, yeah. That down there is uh, Weetabix, if you're interested, that big uh, white area. That's where they will make the Alpen and your uh, Weetabix. Uh -huh. That's Burton Latimer. Uh, that's Kettering, and the big place behind it is Corby. Corby, yeah. Now, you can just make out, I mean, I know what I'm looking for, but you can see that there's a major road running just this side of Kettering. Yeah. It's the A14. Right, okay. And if you look where Harrington is, it's just before the A14. So if you see where the A14 swerves round, the airfield is just ahead of it, or in front of it. Now this place is another uh, USAF base. Uh, it was a carpet backup during the war. They used to drop the spies. And uh, they've still got a museum there now. Then in 1963, this was one of three sites in, the, in England that was used to have four missiles. So on the main runway now, you'll see that there's three concrete pans where the missiles used to be. <laughs> and if you ever get over that way, there's the Polymarch Arms at Harrington, and that is another fantastic pub. <laughs> I mean, so, there's so many pubs in your lifetime with all these... Uh, well, around, around here. <laughs> well, this is my area, because I, I grew up in Wellingborough. Right. So, uh, this, this is all my stamping ground around here, yeah. <laughs> that place down there is called Broughton. That's Clancy Reservoir, where my brother lives, just in the, next to the church. Part of this water, then? over here. The first one is Rothwell, the second one is Desborough. And, right, you've got one and a quarter minutes now, or one and a half minutes to go, till you come to an airfield. So you should be able to see it. It doesn't look like an airfield particularly now, but you can see where the runways used to be with the, with the glass um, hedgerows. If you look down here to your left-hand side, you'll see like a big expanse, yeah. and you'll see like hedges or grass running on what was once the main runway. On the main runway down here at 10 o'clock, you'll see the three missile pads. When you get overhead, you'll see it. I mean, you, you can't yeah. tell it was an old airfield hardly now, but you can still make out when we get over it, you'll see the old uh, perimeter track. But there you are, you guessed seven or eight minutes. Yeah. So if you hold the heading and hold the head and, and, and the timing, you've got to be somewhere close to where you want to be. Yeah. Where am I looking? Which way is it? Just down here now, you'll see the old line, see where the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you'll see the old missile pads on there, there's three of them. And in 1963, that's where the four missiles were. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 down there. <laughs> okay, so that worked out quite well. Yeah. So now on to your next heading. Well, that's 180. Okay, notice there's the A14. Side of it. Too far, yeah. It's the, uh, the 14. Yeah. Good. There's your missile pads. You can see them quite well now. Yeah. Looking at the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to keep going. Uh, reset that again. Good idea. That one. Yeah. So we've got some sunglasses with us. <laughs> give you, um, yeah, Lord, that give you a headache after a while looking in that. So, big reservoir, that's the first thing I can see. Where do we want to be in relation to the reservoir? To the right of it. Okay, so... Uh, 180 looks about roughly right. where you are. 
this little town coming up ahead is called Brixford. This building, as you see on the left-hand side, just this side of the town, is where they make the Formula One engine for yeah, uh, Mercedes. Yeah. I guess they're not very, uh, not flavoured with the month at the moment. <laughs> with uh, Paul Hamilton blowing up, oh, no, he, he was fine. most pissed off. And, uh, hey. Quite rightly so, because it's probably costing the championship. Is, yeah, and it takes one for Rosberg as well, though, and it's back straight well, back in it. Yeah, so he's that, got five races, hasn't Yeah, it? but that's, that, that would be fair if that happens. Yes, it would, yeah. Because he, he, was, six, three, he yeah. was 16 seconds ahead. I mean, he yeah. was going to win it hands down, oh, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bit unfortunate for Rosberg at the start, but, yeah, well. Hey, ho. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, here we have Pittsford, big town behind it. Where do we want to be in relation to the town? Right of it. Skirt the... Skirt the right skirt of it. Skirt the western side of it. Well, there's the side of Northampton, there's yeah. the best lift tower. Yeah. So you can see 180 on this leg. Where's the tower side? Off. It's virtually straight ahead, you'll see when you get a bit closer. Okay, yeah. It's in our half past 11, it's just to the left of the nose. Right. That's the uh, express lift tower, which is next to the Saints, the rugby ground. Small bits of water over here on the right hand side. Notice how water always stands out when the sun's shining yeah. on it. That's Hollowell and Ravenswell Reservoirs. And they will be... Um, that's it, these two bits here. Yeah. Nice heading keeping and height keeping, well done. You're, you're going to eat the uh, cross countries, no problem. So, so next one we'll do Leicester and back via Brunton Court. Yeah. Then I'll get you taken to me. You can take me to Alkenbury and back yeah. over Sywell and back. And then if you get that okay, which you will, then you can go do the Leicester on your own. Then we'll do the qualifier together. Yeah. Then you can go do the qualifying cross country. I still need to do one more local area solo. Uh, you if we get the weather. If you get the weather, you can. You, right. If you don't do it before you do the cross countries, we'll do it after it. It doesn't yeah. make any difference. You're going to have so many hours at the end of it, to, so you're going to have no problem with the solo time. But at least when you go a little cross country like this, it actually feels like you're, you're using the aeroplane for what it's for. Yeah. You're going somewhere. Yeah. yeah you actually feel like you're, you are going somewhere. But you are, yeah. I mean, because you've gone away from the circuit. It's not looking at the same old, same old all the time. How many minutes do we think this next going to take us? Uh, I didn't write it down, you okay. didn't let me. Just give it a <laughs> summit. Uh, I think it was 25, this one. Okay. 25 miles, so... 16 minutes, but there is a slight... Well, not really much of a headwind or a tailwind, uh, really. So, about 16 minutes then, maybe? 15, 16 minutes? Yeah. That's straight back to Tower isn't it? Good. Yep. Skull Victor India is ready for departure. Go for two, the take off runway 05, your description 09013. Take off 05, Golf for Trinity. Almost straight over Silverstone again. Okay. That's not 7 Dewey. Flying 07, Sarwell. Ah, uh, just a on in road, Golf Alpha Delta, we're in now, and to depart to Sarwell. There's the express lift tower. Oh, just a little. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. My hairdresser climbed it for. Really? Um, oh, for charity, yeah. Charity, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I've never actually seen it. Yeah. yeah, you can see the Saints rugby ground just to the left hand side of it. Yeah. 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 Again, that sense. For how things, how big things look when you're up this time. Absolutely, yeah. So, as you said, you didn't think there was much in the way of a tailwind. Five knots. So it's pretty oh, good. Yeah. So just by guessing, let's see how accurate you are. Yeah. Very good. Okay, another three to check. So, yeah. fuel, well, we've got a bit more in the right now than there is in the left, so shall we swap it over? Right of it, yeah. Okay. Right. Once you've done it, make sure the pressure stays, yeah. the engine keeps running, and then switch the fuel pump off again. That can be switched off when uh, you first When we exit, uh, yeah. It, it's the material whether you leave it on or not, really, but it saves pump life, I suppose. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, engine, auto, 
fine. Direction. Yeah, a bit of yeah, do keep an eye yeah. on that because yeah. of course that is an instrument that doesn't know where magnetic north is, whereas that does. Yeah. That's an instrument that can have precession, so you may have to adjust it. And if you do too, you have oh, to fly straight. You have to, straight, a bit. you have to fly straight to level for a little while. Yeah. Otherwise, it suffers with turning and acceleration errors. I'm not going to spend money in uh, showing you what they are. I'd just like you to read up on them if you can. If you've got a book. Yeah. It's all to do with the oh, pendulous effect of the design of the compass. So, here we are, coming down to the M1 again. This is junction 16 down here. Yep. It is actually moving at the moment, which is uh, <laughs> remarkable. It is, yeah. yeah. Straight ahead, got a small town with a race course to the left hand side of it. Yeah, and then behind that is uh, looks like a, some paddocks or something like that with uh, Silverstone. Oh, that's it. So it's game over on this bit, isn't it? Because <laughs> once you can see Silverstone, well, uh, yeah. it's just right hand down a bit. It's the wind is coming from 100 from here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we will be blowing. If I keep that heading, we'll be blowing that way. You will. Yeah. I'll just get rid of the sidewall. Hello, well, Remy Kilo is now well clear to the south and uh, back to Tower Western. See you soon, Ed. Thanks. Bye. Uh, now, when you're within 10 minutes of the airfield, good idea to give them a call. So, just north of, uh, how many miles would you say north of um, Silverstone? Just work on that. Eight or something like that, doesn't yep. matter. Yeah, eight or ten miles, so just eight miles north of Silverstone, 2,000 feet, and request joining instructions. So Western Radio, helicopter call, India, India, Libya. India. I think he must have. He's not, he's not answering the helicopter, so I think he's, uh, he's not there. Where is the helicopter? I want to know. Keep an eye for him. Okay, just give us a tail western traffic call. Yeah. Go ahead. And uh, joining overhead. No. You still announce where you are, so yeah. tail to western traffic. Yeah, uh, tail western traffic, yeah. Golf on us, Romeo Kilo is yeah. 8 miles to north of Silverstone. Yeah. Joining overhead. That's it. Tail western traffic, Golf on us, Romeo Kilo is 8 miles to north, joining overhead. Any of that. Okay, it's fifteen hundred feet, four miles north of the field, so we'll just keep an eye open for him at fifteen hundred feet, so he's a bit below us. Four miles north, he's over here somewhere. As long as he's not in the bit of sky where we're gonna be, we'll find him. He's north, shouldn't he be directly in front of us? Uh, if he's north of oh. the airfield, he'll be a bit further over to the oh, right hand side, yeah? Because there's north. Yeah. So if you think the airfield's over there, he's going to be over, over here somewhere at 1500 feet. Amy Yankee, joining on left base of 09. Okay, it's joining the left base of 09. Roger, the uh, QFE 1015 and the surface wind at this time. What? It's what? Asking Pretty well easterly at 20 knots. Roger. Uh, okay, so just over the uh, little town of Toaster. Yep. Good question. I think he's just putting the thousands away. Hopefully, yes, but uh, I'm not quite sure where he is. I just came up to the tower to find him. Uh, what time will you be here? Uh, one minute. Okay, well, we'll try and get an answer for you. Thanks. I'm now final for zero 09. He's already on finals. Yeah. So, so we're going to do a standard overhead. Yeah. And you thought it was going to be about 15? Yeah. Okay, so you've got five minutes and one. Go 
going to do a standard overhead join. Whatever you want to do. If you wanted to do a left face or a left hand downwind join, you could do that if you want to. What would you like to do? Well, my suggestion is when you go to somewhere new for the first time, do an overhead join. Yeah. That gives you, buys yourself time. I think I'll practice an overhead join. Okay, okay. No, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, fine. So zero and nine. Yeah. Have to think about this.
after the A43. Yeah. Aim for the... I can't aim for the two balls, that's over there, just to the left then. Yeah. Because your, yeah. your ground speed is low. It'd be 
it'd be nice to do the short field landings in there. Oh, wow. Well, no. <laughs> I had a tailwind oh, when yeah. I did my... Uh, yeah, what are you doing now? If you'd have landed on the numbers, you'd stop before this intersection. Yeah. Oh, easily. Right, now what we do when we get back here now, uh, Simon, we'll go and face it next to uh, Juliet Romeo, facing that way. Just wingtip to wingtip, if you can. Chris, he thought he was going to get away with that ring of the bells now, <laughs> and David's made him do it. <laughs> so, strobes and that, good. Car beats cold, and flaps are up, good. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was really good, thank yes. you. No, no, it's, I mean, it's, like, yes, it's a bit breezy, but so what? Yeah. Not bad. Fantastic landing to finish off with, though. Oh, controlled. Oh, for me, oh no, I right so. And that's why you could leave it on with a bit of power, but yeah. do make sure the power's off just as you want to land. Otherwise, of course, it's, your, uh, it's like trying to stop your car on the motorway with your foot on the accelerator. On the tarmac next to Julia Romeo. Julia Romeo, yeah. If you would, please. Absolutely, yeah, a little bit further forward. Perfect. Ooh. Awesome job. Yeah. No, no, no problem. I can go through the door and then with you, but if you can get if you do get a minute. 